That was an awful lot of dots after that duck. I know. I wrote three dots, and I guess Miss Carol got just carried dot, away dot, 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 with dot, the dot, ellipses dot. and mm -hmm. just went nuts. Yeah. Mm. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, if it looks like a duck, <laughs> it's a tax. All right. Well, anyway. Well, it, it looks like a drake. Oh, I mean, it's yeah, got those it's got drakes a, are everywhere, you yeah. know. <laughs> well, this has got a signature on the bottom. Well, both of them do. Ducks, uh -huh. sign ducks. It says copyrighted. One, oh, this is I'm, 125. Does have a copyright Lord, this on. is an expensive duck. <coughs> oh, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> well, dear Larry and Laban, I really enjoy your show. Hope you will be on for many more years, at least 50 more. Ha ha. You are something else. <laughs> I do love your sense of humor. And that's from Katie Underwood in Bristol, Virginia. Well, thank you. But I'll tell you, Kate, as much as I'd love to, I don't believe I could take it for 50 more years. <laughs> 50 years? Can you imagine what, what be, we what, would about, be like after 50 years? I'd be about years? 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Larry and Lehman, uh -huh. enclosed is my sace for a copy of your menu of, of such, such date. Enjoy your show. You're nutty but nice. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Bless you. And we need more programs like yours. Oh, nutty and, but nice. Nutty, nutty but nice. That's us. Lillian Cup of Blacksburg, Virginia. Thank you, know, you very much. I was wah, wah, wah. Oh, anyway. listen, we got ducks today. Oh, yes, we do. We have real big ducks. Oh, We're going to have a lot oh. of fun. Got to get my ducks yeah. in a row. <laughs> well, good. Ah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Did, did you have a long recipe or a short recipe? This recipe goes on so long that I'm sending it in to the American Film Institute to be restored. <laughs> oh, no. Well, oh, I tell you, mine's kind of long, too, and i got to kind of get started on it because it's in three different parts. All right. Not the duck, the recipe. <laughs> Let me show you what you got to do first thing. Get yourself a pan that has a broiler. What is that, a broiler plate? <laughs> a broiler plate. One of these things got holes in it because ducks are real greasy. They're greasier, <laughs> greasier than uh, uh, geese, I believe they are. First thing you got to do is take it out of its package and wash it thoroughly, and you will salt its cavity. <laughs> the next thing you got to do though, before you even salt its cavity, start like close up here, is you got to reach in here. Oh, you don't know how I hate doing this. <laughs> and you got to pull out the giblets and stuff. The what? The, the giblets, because they're in there. And there those are. And just set those aside because you never know when you want to throw them at somebody or something later <laughs> on. And then the next thing you do is you open that up and uh, have a little open house with your duck and you, you shoot some salt and pepper down in there. And next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to make up a fine uh, bread. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry, we're tickled about something. We can't <laughs> mention what it is. But anyway, we a fine bread stuffing. And while you're doing that, you need to get this out of the way. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Wait, put it over there. Just put it down here. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start making a stuffing, and I'll come back and do that in just a minute. But first, got to find a bowl and wash my hands. <laughs> All right, well, now, I've got my duck carcass, and I've cut the what? wings off right, right here. And this is your duck. And while you've got your duck together, you got to check out which side the breast is on. <laughs> got to get, get your duck together. And let me get, get up in here and get the parts out. Well, I'll tell you what it is. You've got to flip it the opposite way of the way it walks. <laughs> look, look, isn't that pretty? Uh-huh. Well, I have one. Matching Neck. necks. <laughs> And then you put the giblets down in your pan. You got to have a big pan to start out with this dish. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Where is that vanilla? <laughs> and the, the giblets have gone down into the pan, and now I've got to cut the legs. Excuse me. I got to cut the legs off this. Oh, duck. how awful! How terrible! And just like they do in the movies, we'll cut your legs off if you don't pay. Oh, I love that vanilla smell. All right, now, and you're going to reserve your uh, wings and your... And a room in the all day. No, I'm just kidding. I've got to start my, my dressing. Can I start my dressing? Go right ahead. While you're cutting and beating and banging, i got to take some just ordinary old white soft bread, and I'm going to 
crumble up about, uh, oh, I don't know, a little bit. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I've lost the breast. Two cups of breadcrumbs. Wait, now, no, back here to it is, right here. Who has All right, lost now. his breast. <laughs> Back now, Laban, who's lost his I breast. have got to. Uh, Laban's lost his breast. All right. I've got to get the breast off of this duck, and to to bone this thing. So, you, you have to have a good knife to do it with. And you know, if you cook these things and, whole, you have to score them. I beg your pardon. Or poke them. Well, I think mine is about a seven, and yours no, no, is a no, minus no. two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine doesn't even show up on the scale. <laughs> I have, we may as well say it, ladies and gentlemen, a low-down duck. <laughs> he got that, hold of a bad duck. The one that I got, the one that I'm cooking is fine, though. This one's just not, well, Phew. you know, it's gone over a lot. But anyway, what do you got, Levin? Well, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm filleting the, the duck breast off of, the, of its carcass is what I'm doing. And I'm doing it fairly well, all things being equal. Mm -hmm. And you you do this, uh, boy, this duck has got like rawhide on it. <laughs> Good kookamooga, this is. Good what? Kookamooga. <laughs> <laughs> and you just keep peeling right along the side of it here. Well, Let me try this one. Mm -hmm. Sure glad I don't have to play with mine that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now there's your duck breast, Ooh, half of it. And let's a handsome see. one it is. If I can get this other one off of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm afraid I'm going to faint. <laughs> I don't have a real strong heart. <laughs> well, I got a real strong duck, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that right now. <laughs> oh, me. I'm getting ready, by the way, while he's... <laughs> laying over there. I'm getting ready to, to chop up some some uh, <laughs> celery. I gotta wash this stuff <laughs> off first. It'd, be, it'd just be a shame to have something not washed on this. Oh Lord, what a, I'll tell you that duck don't favor nobody. <laughs> the one that's in the oven smells wonderful though. And Doris is even staying away from it a little bit. She didn't trust him. I'm just going to chop up some celery a little bit here, about a half a cup or so, as I recall. I can't remember. As everybody can see, duck is all uh, dark meat. So if you don't like dark meat, forget it. You know, you know why pressed duck is so good if you go to you know, some of those fancy restaurants and they offer pressed duck? Because they press all the grease out of it, and it also makes the, uh, <clears throat> it makes the meat a little more like, it, it makes it sort of oh. the texture of white meat. Oh, I thought it was a duck that had been raised behind the newspaper office. No, 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 no. Oh. They take it and they <laughs> run it through a big press somehow. Oh. They don't print anything on it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they'd print something on that one over there. <laughs> You're being very cruel to me today. It's been that way all day long. I'm just trying to get the fire. All right, we take some of this and, and th throw it in there. Am I, am I correct? What am I doing? <laughs> Next comes celery, onions, raisins, pecans, and salt. That's what we're going to be doing here, all right? We've already got the pecans in there. They're under the bread. <laughs> all right, now here's my other. Something else I forgot today. Anyway, now I've got to put some onions now in there. Now there's my other breast fillet. Now, what you do, boys and girls, is after you get all of that taken apart, you take the carcass and any attendant skin. Now, the duck's got lots of fat on it, and you put it down in what kind of skin? A big pan, attendant skin. Oh, all right. That skin. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you one thing. I had the worst sinus when I came in here today, and I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I have been healed. I have. I've been saved. I'm chopping up Woo. some onion to go in our stuffing, which is going to be real fine. I'm just trying to go along here and pretend like all Wait a minute, is well. You want to borrow my little inhalator? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, me. Oh. Now, once we get that Woo. onion chopped up, put that in there too. There we go. Just making a basic stuffing here, and this is a real good one too, by the way. I I baked the stuffing separate from the uh, 
what is it, the duck, <laughs> and uh, tasted it, and it's real good. It really is. Now, what, now what? Oh, oh. I, warm milk. I need to put some warm milk in there. All right. That's been on the stove, and it's warm, and an egg. Oh, I thought you just got it out. Put of that in. Oh, it's supposed to be, <laughs> says, uh, previously beaten. You're supposed to beat up on it previously. I got nothing to beat the egg with. There's the egg before it's been beaten. And now here it is being beaten. And there it is in there. Now, we also need the last thing that goes in there. We have uh, about a half a cup of raisins. I don't know what was last week's show or week before last, but you remember the raisin flap? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're back. I'm using up old boxes of raisins. And I'm sorry, but raisins get this way, and you just and have to it, poke at them And this is a good kind of use for it, like that. Well, now, yeah, it is. But now, you, you know, there's nothing much you can do because they get in there and they're like cement. It's terrible. Well, See? Now, <laughs> that's oh. two raisins. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Watch out. We don't know where those raisins have been. Now, into this car cast, I've got a stalk of... Uh, I've got a sprig of celery, and here is one stalk uh, of, what is that stuff, parsley. Sprig <laughs> of parsley. And i got to have three cloves of garlic. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the next part of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know where None this goes. None of us are. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's a shame to do a, such a terrible thing to such fine, fine stuffing. This is going to have to go in the bird now. Oh, no. I'm going to put a little more milk in there because I overdid the... That's a good hint, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you overdo the bread a little bit, you need to add a little more liquid to it. Otherwise, it's just not going to be have a nice consistency to it. Pecans. Don't forget your pecans. I did today, but... Okay. <laughs> They're in the one we're going to eat. They are. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, that one in the oven smells good. It really does. Now, I'm Check adding it. three cloves of garlic to Woo! my... It's I think maybe, Larry, here, let me rub this garlic <laughs> under your nose. Anything would be an improvement. All right, three cloves of garlic have gone into mine, and now I'm going to put in a, uh, a chopped onion here, if we're lucky. <laughs> okay, let me know when you're ready and make it quick. Oh, we are. All right. Open it up. After you put your salt and pepper in there, and now you're going to stuff it. I don't mean anything personally, ladies and gentlemen. Shoot. Just put it. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's just no nice way to do it. Just. Oh! Larry, don't put your hand oh. in there. You don't know. It's well, we know where it's been. All right. Put that in there. You gotta bake that in there the entire time. By the way, don't forget to score the out. Oh, we've gone through this already, haven't we? <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Let me wash my hands first. <laughs> I'm sorry. While he's doing that, I'm chopping a small onion, which is gonna go over in here. And after you get all of this stuff in it, you're gonna boil this carcass for a half an hour. Even and more. I mean boil. You don't want it to simmer it, you wanna boil it. <laughs> it's like rubber. You need to kind of score it a little bit so it doesn't explode. I don't know. Well, is that what will happen? Will it explode if you don't score it? You know, score it on the breast is what they say. Woo! Six to three. <laughs> okay, now what you do is take about a couple of things of bacon, a couple little strips of bacon, and I find the best thing to do is just to slice them in half. And you will drape those across the breast part of it. Actually, just kind of like this. I put a little salt and pepper on the outside also. And what you'll do is you'll put this in the oven for the first uh, 350 degrees for 45 minutes. <laughs> and then we'll take it out and we're going to put a glaze over top of that. And there's just no end to the misery. <laughs> we're going to have to bring it back one more time. Anyway, we will make up a fine glaze for it and I'll show you how to make the glaze in just a minute. All right, in the meantime, let me show you this sauce. Oh, <laughs> just get it away from here. Oh! All right, now we're going to make up a little uh, glaze for our duck. First of all, you're going to take your parts and you're going to bake them in the oven at 400, 450 for an hour. And you do it with the skin side up. Skin side up. Now, our little sauce is, here's a bowl. 
we're going to use a quarter of a cup of port. Oh, I love that port. Mm, 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 mm. And a half. <coughs> oh. You may want to go a little light on that port. You didn't make too much no. sense during the last show. <laughs> and a half a cup of orange marmalade. There's the marmalade. And a half a cup of raisins. And of course, my raisins, which we have used previously on this show, are very soft and pliable and sweet and kind and generous and so let me put a half a cup. These are golden raisins because that's what we had left over. And of course, if you want to cook cheap like Laban and Larry, you got to use leftovers. And we want a dash of hot sauce. And oh, thank you. They just reminded us of something. I've already inserted stuff in my. <laughs> in the we, ha we, we have made a little film to show you where uh, we got these ducks. Where ducks come from? No, wh where we got them. Oh, where we, we got know where these. they come from. They oh, come out of well, eggs. You know, eggs. Yeah. But we, we went hunting and uh, we got these ducks where we were hunting. There we are. And In there's the duck our, blind. There's our duck blind. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's it's one of those uh, one of those one. fancy duck blinds. Uh huh. Just not any ordinary duck blinds. You can see Johnson is shooting at random. And uh, he didn't get any random, but he shot at them anyway. And uh, and I'm doing my famous duck call. I, I know a lot of people didn't know I had this talent. As you can see, it doesn't work. <laughs> there they go. Well, continue trying, Bly. That's all I can say. But, and Johnson continues shooting. Yes, there we and go. And har har and hearty har oh, that har. That was a big water gun I, need I was another using spoon. on. I just put everything in the, uh, can I make my sauce or are you at a nice point? Well, or? I'm just, I'm going to put in my sauce the pulp of an orange. So that's what I'm we'll getting ready to do. Well, no, no. It's Let's watch him put it in, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the way you do it. You just cut down both sides and hmm. there it goes right in. It's real easy to do. And mm, vanilla. And I hold my orange over the little bowl while I'm doing it, so I can get the advantage of the uh, orange juice that rolls out of here, and I keep oh. out the <laughs> seeds. <laughs> try not to get close to Johnson. Well, I don't know. I think you're the one that we want to try not <laughs> to get close to. Oh, I'll tell you, I haven't smelled a smell like that since I was a teenager. All right, and you want to squeeze your thing here at the end to and get all. He did of, smell like that when he was a teenager. What? Ooh, you want to squeeze that to get all the juice and goodness out of it, and then your hand smells pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you have to stir all of this up. So, Bly, you go ahead and make your sauce now, while, and I'll explain about the rest of this in a minute. Okay. The last thing you do while your little ducky wucky is in there, just getting cooked all up, baked. Ducky. You will do uh, the glaze that goes on top of it. This is a very interesting glaze, too, I think. Uh, it, it sounds wonderful. I've not tasted it previously. But what you do is you take a half a cup of catsup. Oh, how awful. Half a cup of catsup. <laughs> two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. That's a right healthy tablespoon. I think that may be just a little bit more than a tablespoon, so we'll just kind of guess on it. But having made this so fabulously yesterday at my home, I'm quite familiar with how to do it now. A1 sauce, again, two tablespoons of that. Whoops, one and a half. That should be about two. And chili sauce. Yeah, I hate to say this, and I don't mean to appear ignorant, I don't know why, but I don't know why either. It's uh, never stopped. Made before. me a lot of money down through the years, <laughs> but uh, I had never heard tell of chili sauce. I mean, a jar of chili sauce. I yeah. didn't know there was such a thing. Uh -huh. I was getting real worried. I couldn't find it in the store for a while. Then it, there it was, mm -hmm. bigger yeah. than Dixie, chili sauce. It's not what something. What do you use it for? Uh, see, I, well, I use it to make my own seafood cocktail sauce. Oh. But you, it's real good on hamburgers and stuff like that. It's just spicier it's than just ketchup. A, oh, I see. Hmm. It does kind of taste like a cocktail sauce of sorts. Two tablespoons of chili sauce. One. It's real thick. Two. 
and you just mix that all up. Mmm, that's good. And that's going to be your glaze. After your <clears throat> duck has been in there for 45 minutes, you'll take it out and you will baste the duck with, <laughs> with this glaze and then you will bake it uh, for 20 more minutes. And at that time, if you like, you can also garnish it with some uh, orange. One of these big orange things, whatever they're called. So anyway, and then that's it. And when you get finished <laughs> with it, <laughs> excuse me, leave it as uh, garnishing uh, my duck. A little heavy on the <laughs> there's nothing wrong. <laughs> oh, it does smell like parsley. Doesn't oh, it smells wonderful? so much better. It really does. Very, very nice. I think you've overdone it just a little bit. Let's show the real one. I'm going to take the oh, real one out. Oh, oh, we'll show the rest there of it is. first. Okay. There is the stuffed, the stuffed duck. duck. One, two and a half pound duck. And please make sure that it is very, very fresh. Two cups of soft bread crumbs, a half cup of chopped celery, half cup of chopped onion. It helps if you don't have to go a lot of meetings during the day before you prepare one. <laughs> a half cup of raisins, a half cup of chopped pecans, which I left out accidentally but not in the real one, a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is a combination of three different things, the stuffing and the glaze and, well, two different things. Quarter of a cup of hot milk, uh, egg beaten, three slices of bacon, and a half cup of catsup, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of A1 sauce and two tablespoons of chili sauce. That makes your glaze those last three things, four things, nah, four, nah. I'm sorry, and just bake it a lot. <laughs> bake it a whole bunch. <laughs> bake it many times. And this is a salamagundi of duck. You need a duck. What does salamagundi mean? It means it's, it's a whole conglomeration that's kind of sweet and spicy. Oh, okay. And uh, you need a duck, some salt, two cups of chicken broth, a stalk of celery chopped, a sprig of parsley, three cloves of garlic squashed, one small onion chopped, a quarter cup of pork, a half cup of orange marmalade. These are the ingredients for the glaze. Half a cup of raisins, a half a cup of orange pulp, a dash of hot sauce, and one and a half cups of duck broth. And there it is when it comes out with a glaze on top of it. You may want to get a, a couple oh. of my raisins got a little over the hill there. Uh, but that's because we were pushing it mighty hard yes. here at Blue Ridge Public Television. We had to go to 220 service and all right. sorts of things. And incidentally, on my dish, the way you assemble it, after you baked your parts for an hour, then you take it out, you put the glaze that we made here with the orange marmalade and the oranges all over it, and then you pour a cup and a half of the duck stock that you made with your duck carcass on the bottom of the pan and you cook it for another 15 minutes and that makes your delicious duck. Now, Miss Witch is here today with a recipe and, oh. Let's see what this letter is. Hey guys, hmm. we just hate it when you have guests. Please don't do it again, they're so boring. <laughs> Martha is too fat, got any new salads, and it's from Jean and Martha Overfat. <laughs> the Overfat family. <clears throat> oh, they're real good people. Yeah, good well, bunch of folks, but you can't get a lot of them in a room at one time. <laughs> well, next week we'll do some salads, and you know, here at uh, where we do our show, we're not like the big uh, high price spreads like WGBH in Boston where they've got millions of dollars coming in. Uh, here, we just had the millions of dollars in the bank and they don't spend it on the show. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that we do to raise money <laughs> is we auction off <laughs> an appearance on this show and we've done it and some poor person paid a fortune uh, last year for an appearance on this show and she'll be with us next week and, and we'll do a salad and so will we. <clears throat> well, I guess it's time for us to go <clears throat> over and uh, try out uh, the duck. <clears throat> but uh, it's going to take a minute for me to do that. Oh, I forgot the knife. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Well, while he's doing that, let me slip one of these delicious looking duck wings <laughs> <laughs> over here on Larry's plate. And I'll have a duck leg. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, I reckon we get get down to, oh, my heavens, tell me it's too late. Oh, well, we'll give it a try. We'll oh, yes. report back to you about <clears throat> 